Hello, you guys. I'm going to be focusing on Virgo, on rising on Venus. And thank you for watching. Videos up for you. If you're looking for sage candles or shea butter, you can go on my website. I have a lot of different products on there, but I feel like naming right now. <laughs> this is too many. But you can go ahead and visit the website if you're interested. That should be Sun sign, Moon, and Venus. All right, Virgo. For those of you that might be dealing with uh, Libra, Taurus, even if you're dealing with your own sign, there could be some relationships there. Now, today I feel like a lot of you have been. Work, getting back to work or something like that. Definitely seeing air signs connect to your situation. I feel like your intuition is very strong right now, so you might know exactly what's going on behind closed doors. Keeping yourself connected to other water signs is real, especially Pisces. I feel that you could be dealing with other water signs as well. Um, I feel like I feel like you had a lot of burdens in your life and you just got rid of them just recently. Somebody took a loss financially as well. But the air sign is definitely not going away. Could be deeper for some of you. And I also feel like a water sign is not going away. So I'm looking at the water. I feel like there's a lot of stress people need to do in this water sign. And when it comes to the Libra, I feel like there's a money connection. Could be a worker or anybody in your life. Boss. Uh... I'm going to look at this earth sign. I feel like there's issues surrounding around this. Either you don't have money or the earth sign doesn't have money. Now, the air sign, I feel like, could be a problem. The person may be coming down hard on you and you want to get away from them. Okay? Even if you're cool with them right now, there might be some problems between you and Libra around this time. I feel like there are people around you. They either are adding you to do things or being very judgmental. I feel like. What's going on here? I see air connections here. Yeah. We're going to look again here. Uh, seven of swords here, too. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like right here. Um, a lot of. I see that as a lot of, a lot of backstabbing going on there. A lot of secrets involved. So I'm trying to get away with something. Any decisions you make around this time it could involve somebody trying to use you or somebody whining too much or somebody crying too much, either you or somebody else. A lot of boredom connects to your situation and a lot of arguing going on too, especially if you're dealing with fire time. I feel like some of you have been juggling <laughs> situations. Either you have been dealing with boards or Aries person. A lot of arguments. Always is. You see business plans, transactions, and employees on your mind as well. Now, the boredom I see connected to your situation. It probably could be because of a money situation, I feel, or you could get involved with somebody in their attitude. For sure. Some of y'all just want to do something different. Some of y'all might be dealing with people that get hot tempers fast. Some All right. All right, some energy right here is coming out because you have been waiting on communication. There is somebody that does not like you here. I feel like it's a Sagittarius. And I also feel like you don't know whether you want to deal with a Gemini as well at this time. A lot of different people might be coming in to do 
Could be changing residence for somebody. But I feel like you're not putting too much work into something right now. Maybe somebody else is doing all the work. I feel like if you're trying to get something started, I feel like you could do it. So I doubt yourself. I also feel like if you're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like you're going to be thinking about it a lot. Any income in, I feel like you might all out of love with somebody. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, you're going to leave this person alone, even though you know that it's not going to work out between you and that person. And the same thing I see with Aquarius. If you're dealing with Aquarius, I feel like this person is going to keep questioning you about shit all the time. And I also feel like you're making decisions whether you should leave somebody or stay. Fire energy is definitely showing up here. I feel like you don't want to be with this fire sign at all. This fire sign. So, Venus. Let's see what else is going on. I like to keep looking at the situation until I see what's going on. I keep seeing a chariot here too. You know, maybe you know a cancer or you are definitely moving away from a situation. Definitely. See, you were all lovey dovey in the past and then you was like, oh, I'm leaving. It's like you're going for a I love you. I'm leaving. I'm happy and I think this is going to go somewhere. Let me all double it. Various too. Um, but I keep seeing you across the road. Mm. What's going on? You're all over the place here. Uh cross road has a lot to do with the air sign. And whether you want to isolate yourself from somebody. Okay. Maybe they haven't already isolated themselves from you. So the way I see it, in a lot of different situations going on. I feel like you might have been doing good connecting to a fire sign, but now it's like this person does not like you. Fire sign is. Things are just, you know, getting all messed up here. Now, the Ace of Cups here, I feel like somebody still wants to be around you. And it's money connected to this. Like somebody wants to be in a relationship and they want to put, you know, money into your pocket and they want to make sure that you're happy. Somebody wants to be happy and they want. Somebody wants you to. <laughs> To just hang out with them every day, you know. Um, I'm definitely seeing a love bird situation. Like somebody wants to be seen as love bird. The partner that you're with, or, or somebody trying to offer you a big offer, like relationship and money, you know. And it is there. This relationship could even turn into like business partnership, power couple. But it all depends on whether you want this, though. It could be either an earth sign or a water sign. But I keep feeling like you want to walk away from it. You know what I mean? Either you do what somebody else do, but it looks, it seems like you want to. And you rather just go into your addiction and see what it is. You got to watch it, man. Especially when it comes to addiction and everything. And you might not have the money to do a lot of things that you want to do. So, I feel like somebody's coming in with support, but you ain't feeling it. That's the way it looks to you. Let me shuffle it again. This reading is definitely for somebody out there. Let me find here, Y'all feel like you're about to get evicted and lose everything. Around this time. Like, my pockets is empty. I don't have a job. Somebody's feeling judged as well. Then there's all sorts of things with arguments with people on your side. Air sign is double mean, double fucked up, I feel. Secrets will soon come out of that. Either way. That's why a relationship is not going to work out between you and somebody, probably either air or water. And if you're dealing with water, I feel like you're looking at this person like, okay, what are we going to talk about? And I feel like it turns into an argument. And I feel like 
you're not gonna be around drama. You don't want to stress in your life and you're gonna get divorced y'all real quickly and you're gonna say, Hey, I don't wanna do this anymore. I wanna do this other stuff right now. You're gonna put a lot of things on hold. I feel like this is on a back burner. A lot of this is not about it. You're just not ready to do it. So you wanna get into a long term relationship or you just testing water, should I see you, who got attitudes, who could look out for you, so you really need to be looking out for yourself, so, I would say, single, if I was you, that's my best advice, try to by yourself, to clear up your situation, you know, and if you're not ready for something, don't jump in it, 